Arthur Rosen gives a stand by the world. If the moon shines, they, also, they must have strong security, especially when Mr. Polonius knows that his daughter had an affair with our family. My father told me that Mr. Polonius is very close to the underworld mafia lord child. Beside Mr. Babinshu, the chief in Estab is also a good friend of his. Money and power both they have. What do you have him? Except for your last chicken heart. You better forget her. Let Cordelia or Rosalind or even Portia in her place. Though you may not like her thick voice. And you love that's why the world was created the yeah. of God's acting, like tailors in supply And the three girls you made, you have teached them all. I know who your new choice is now, by the way. Oh, she is going to the Paragon for hope. I would not mind it. If the darker city melts on the old Burigong, she is taking transport a neighborhood university. She has she has heard she has heard that English the English department is very good here. And also because and, and also because hair and Tony to find. And those, if I had a change of heart as yours, first for me. The name sounds familiar. The Lux Beauty English. Is that it? Yes, that is it. If she has to come here, the boy has to come here too. If you guarantee his security, he will come. <laughs> 
I never knew that a man wanting to marry is afraid of security. Listen, Richard, the value has fallen so low from what we used to believe in our time. Yeah, true, Richard. You remember how I just lifted your father from her wedding seat the very night before her marriage to another person no. was in progress? <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not afraid of security. I'm mortgaged my life to my love. <laughs> my dear young man, what's your name you say? Hamlet? Okay, listen. Do you know my friend Mr. Polonius? <laughs> Here is a very powerful man in society. You willing to marry his only daughter? Are you ever about his wages and his teeth? I say, I waste my life. Come on, sir, sorry. This is a practical world. How much do you think you will agree on her coming now? <laughs> it won't bother me. Wait, Sheila, let me talk. Ham, suppose she does love you, but she will not marry you. Is not that possible? Yes, possible. But in my case, it's not possible. <laughs> because she loves me. And I know that. So I can't proceed otherwise. Young man, you are missing the point. My child said that she loves you, but she will not marry you. Because she has a future which she thinks would be safe if she marries you. Am I clear? I said she loves me, sir. She loves me. And she will have to marry me. She will marry me. Is that clear, sir? <laughs> It looks like you believe that force has a place in love and marriage. Yes. I do firmly believe in it. It's an important part of... It's an important part of survival. And it's also an important part of politics of relationships too. Education has destroyed your brain. <laughs> Marriage is a matter of social compatibility. In practical also in an emotional sense. Yeah, then let's have the trial now. Ophelia will come to speak to her. Since your mother's death, I have brought you out from a child with this father and mother. Now this friend of yours, who I thought was a brilliant student, is vowing to marry. To wish me, not me, or neither me, nor my trusted friends here connect me. I think your friend has a bright future awaiting him and should avoid rushing into marriage. I own this big false father. Yes, I love him. I truly love him. His memory will never be erased from my life. But Ham, I won't marry you as I don't want to destroy your career. Neither am I ready to Wait for it. Until the time, you will start the marriage. Forgive me, Ham. I've hurt you much. I can't follow your suffering. I'm flying Boston next week to marry Cassie. Hey! It's not going to happen. I have sent your picture with him to kiss you from Facebook. Okay. Okay. You sent picture. <laughs> you get to do that. Why not? And Kesu wants me from America, saying that he won't anything to do with a girl who had a lover. <laughs> oh my God! Why did you do that? Ham? Did you ask him to do that? Hundred times. <laughs> we took it. What's the rest of it? You did it for me! You did it for me! Please, please! Young people, this is an office. You must keep the office decor up. I don't see any further reason for this video to continue. You go home. I'll see what we can do to expose your precious sex to Catherine. <laughs>